claim evidence reasoning as a method of organizing scientific evidence and explanations. And it approaches the ultimate goal of science, to help explain the world around us. Claim Evidence Reasoning, or CER, has three main components to it. The first is the claim, which answers a scientific question. Evidence uses data to support the claim or the answer to the scientific question. Typically, this evidence or data is collected by the person making the claim or supplying the scientific explanation. Reasoning is the rule or the scientific principle that describes why the evidence supports the claim or answers the scientific question. Let's look at an example to get a better idea of how claim evidence reasoning works. Let's say we start with the scientific question of is air matter? This scientific question helps us to evaluate what is needed to answer this question and it will most likely lead to some form of experimentation and data collection that's needed to answer this question. In this instance, it will most likely lead to an experiment to determine if air takes up space or has mass. Let's look at a possible CER or claim evidence reasoning explanation to this question, is air matter? The claim would be air is matter. The evidence or the data from the experiment would likely be that the weight of the ball increases as more air is pumped into it. The reasoning or the scientific principle that shows how the evidence supports the claim might be this shows that air has weight, which is one of the characteristics of matter. This CER explanation could be further expanded to include an additional evidence and additional reasoning. For example, we can include principles of how the air also takes up space, which is an additional characteristic of matter. It's important to note that the reasoning part of a CER, or a claim evidence reasoning explanation, is the most difficult part, and typically causes the most challenge for students.